everyone, welcome back to your channel. This is the innovation. You already know the basics of the PoE, powering data over the single cable up to 100 meters. But here's a part many overlooked. What happens when your network goes beyond the single switch? Because in real world deployments, whether you're wiring a parking lot full of IP cameras, linking multiple buildings on the campus, or integrating dozens of the PoE switches across a factory floor. It's not just about powering devices anymore. It's about connecting your switches together with a stability, distance, and a serious bandwidth. And that's where SFP comes in. What is SFP? SFP stands for Small Form Factor Pluggable. It's a universal standard for compact hotspotable transceivers used in a network equipment. SFP defines how devices connect over either fiber optic or copper cable, especially when distance go beyond the traditional Ethernet can handle. As it's a versatile solution for connecting network devices like switchers and routers to various transmission media such as a fiber optic cables or copper. It's a compact design and a hot spotable nature allows easy upgrade and scalability, supporting data rates from 1 gigabits per second to 100 gigabits per second and even beyond. In SB technologies, adaptability has made it go-to choice for modern network infrastructure. And you will find SAP in use on switchers, routers, media and converter, and PoE devices that require flexible, high-speed, long-distance connectivity. An SAP module is a physical transceiver that plugs into the SAP port on your switch or router. Its job is simple but critical to convert a signal for transmission, either from electronic to optical or electronic to electronic. The core of the modern networking SIP modules determine the speed, distance, and the medium of each connection. They are the component that defines how far, how fast, and over what medium your data travels. SIP module comes in a wide range of the formats, depending on the transmission medium, fiber or copper. The maximum range from 100 meters to over 8 kilometers. The speed rating. 1 gigabits, 10 gigabits, 25 gigabits, or even higher, the fiber type, single mode or multi mode, and even wavelength. For example, a 1 gigabit SAP LX module runs over single mode fiber in up to 10 to 20 kilometers. A 10 gigabit SAP Plus SR module handles short range multi mode fiber typically around 300 to 400 meters. Depending on the SAP time, you can support a speed from 1 gigabits per second to 25 gigabits per second per port, and the distances ranging from a few meters with copper to over 80 kilometers with a single mode fiber. Because they follow open standards, SAP modules can work across devices from different vendors as long as they are properly matched. In short, SAP modules are the conversion engines at both ends of the fiber link, translating light into electricity and back again, enabling high bandwidth connections over long distance. An SAP port in the slot you find on the back of the switch, router, or PoE switch is where you insert the SAP module. SAP ports are the interface on the network devices designed to accept SAP modules, serving as a critical link between your hardware and the network. These ports ensure compatibility with a wide range of the modules, allowing flexibility in network design. Key considerations for SAP ports include port density for scalable deployments and compatibility with specific module types, ensuring seamless integration with your existing infrastructure. This port doesn't do much on its own, but once you plug in compatible module, it enables the devices to 
connect to another switch over long distance fiber, extend it beyond the 100 meters Ethernet limit, use fiber to bypass interference, lightning zooms, or harsh environments. On PoE switchers, this means you can connect multiple buildings or remote locations while still using PoE locally to power cameras, access points, and sensors. Next, let's take a look how the SAP works in the PoE network. Let's say that you are managing a large site, maybe campus, factory, or smart city project. Your control room is hundreds of meters away from your devices. Running regular Ethernet won't cut it. And the daisy chain PO extenders not reliable for that kind of a scale. Here's a smarter setup. Using SAP enabled PoE switches at your control center, run fiber from that switch to remote buildings or outdoor enclosures. At each remote point, place a secondary PoE switch powered locally. That switch then powers cameras, APs, sensors, whatever you got. First, we'll present a quick installation guide, aiming to assist you in quick understanding how to install the SIP port and transceiver. And this will encompass both fiber optic and RG5 interface. Alright, so welcome to our lab. And today we talk a lot about the SAP ports. This little compact slot has tons of advantages can bring to your application. And of course, today's task is about SAP and how to connect two PoE switches by through the SAP ports. And we're gonna show you that with two different type of Transceiver, the RG45 and the fiber optics. And of course, the fiber optics cable and the Ethernet cable. And to transmit the data from the PDZ camera to the PoE MAR. And eventually, you will see the live video on the monitor. All right, so before we get started, we're gonna meet all the devices that will be used in today's test. First, we're gonna use the PoE switch has SAP ports. And usually, um, this kind of PoE switches has two SFP ports and fiber optic cables and of course Ethernet cables and the PDZ camera, PoE MVR and a monitor. All right, so let's get started. Let's start by connecting the PDZ camera to the PoE switch. We're gonna insert the SFP transceiver fiber optic version to the SFP ports, plug in fiber optic cable to the SFB transceiver. Now let's move to this side and connect the PoE MVR to the PoE switch and insert SFP transceiver to the SFP ports and plug in fiber optic cable. See, as you can see that the indicator lights are start flashing.
In a scenario like this, where all ports on your PoE switches are occupied by the devices, and yet you still need a port to connect with other network devices like PoE switches and routers, it is preferable to use an Ethernet cable. And the transmission distance should be within the range of Ethernet transmission, like 100 meters. In such a situation, the SIP port and RG5 transceiver can help you accomplish this task. And the next following test will exactly match the needs like this. And insert the SIP ports, RT45 version, and uh, plug in the Ethernet cable, and connect the PTZ camera to the PoE switch. And on this side, insert the SIP transceiver, plug in, extend the cable, and connect the PLE MVR. That's it. We're talking about what SAP does and why it matters. But where does this actually show up? Let me walk you through the real world examples. Smart campuses, universities, hospitals, corporate parks, anywhere with multiple buildings and a central IT hub. Fiber links through SAP connect the buildings. PoE switches inside each location to power up cameras, access points, and intercoms. In industrial factories, in factories and warehouses, we're dealing with harsh electronic noise in the long cable runs. SAP gives a fiber stability. PoE gives you a simple centralized power. Whether it's a civilians, sensors, and automation, this setup just works. Highways and smart roads. Think traffic cameras along five kilometers stretch. You can't use copper. You can't rely on the power at every pole. So you use SAP fiber backbone for data and appealing switches at each node, powered by the solar or battery for the edge devices. Remote sites, from solar powered weather station to mountain top cameras, SAP bridges the gap over long distances while PoE powers your devices local. No generator, no AC lines. Selecting the right SAP module requires careful consideration of the several key factors. Network requirements. To determine your needed transmission speed, such as 1 gigabits per second or 10 gigabits per second, and required distance. Choose between single mode or multi mode fiber modules or copper cables modules based on your existing wiring. Ensure this module is fully compatible with your switch or router's brand in a model. Balance cost and performance. Considering whether you need a digital diagnostic, monitoring, or specialized feature like a bidirectional transmission. For industrial or outdoor settings, select the modules designed for the wide temperature range to ensure reliable operation. If your network spans long distance, include multiple zooms or buildings and need both power and performance. PoE and SAP is not an option, it's the backbone. Thanks for watching, and if you're designing a PoE system right now, reach out, we'll help you to get it right from the ground up.